Hello there and welcome back for this video. In this video we want to speak about the Django framework in Python and how you can work with the sessions inside the, the Django. I will work in, uh, I will show you how you can work on the locally session based if you only have one server and if you have multi-server running the Django, it could be running Django in, in like a Docker container like that, then it would be nice to to storing the, the session inside the database so all the requests will be um, taken from a database. That's uh, what we're going to learn today and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and uh, press on the thing. If you have any questions for me or for this video, you're really welcome to smash the comments button uh, down below on the video. I really hope you want to like and share this video when you're finished. And uh, I think that's it and then we are pretty good to go and you are ready to learn how sessions working in the Django framework. The first we're gonna do is um, creating the set session page because we don't want to uh, mix it with the other, other stuff here. So we want to request and then we set it up here and say response is equal to, I'll just copy this, I don't, I'm too lazy to, to code that part. Set session page. I'll just copy this one and we go in and set session page. Session now set. And uh, then we're going back to the view, the URLs, and just copy this and set session page demo and set session page session page and cookie page we don't need um, the same name as, as twice of those and uh, I think we are almost good to go and only need on the post list here and Just want a bit of navigation here. Set session, yes. And then we need one more here. And let's go back here to see what happened. And we have the sessions here. We'll come back, we have the cookie. Back and this still working from the previous video, so that's perfect. Five seconds gone, should be removed. Yes. And what we're gonna do now, it's going back for the views, and we want to, uh, to, to set a session. And that's what we're gonna do now. The simple way, the first one, it's uh, just to say if not uh, self uh, request session has key and um, let's call it a uh, customer and then we need to say request session customer is equal to customer name that's what we're going to do and uh, if we load it up here and going inside everything should be working pretty good and the session should be stored right now but we don't know that so i'll just uh, to be sure till it's uh, set then i will just go back for the overview here and say the session data session and what we're going to do now is sell request and we want to say session customer And then we want to say the session ID and the session ID will coming from uh, will coming from the cookies with the session ID. That's what we're gonna do now. So 
if we're going back for the post list, we should having something like uh, to store this one strong S uh, session data, and then we just do this, and we should have the data here. And uh, nope, this doesn't have any kind of uh, customers, so I probably have an uh, error here. So that's going back to the editor and see what happened. We're going for the views, and when we are on the on this one, yes, it's the correct session. Yeah, if we're going here, we want to say print. And say session value set, and that's what we're gonna do. And this could uh, be because we don't have uh, a right request, and uh, that's a little strange. So let's go to see what happened. Session store have uh, no attribute customer, so so it's re registrate the session, but it doesn't have any sessions here, and uh, that's a little bit weird. And it's registered correct, but it doesn't. Let's see about if we do it this way. I think it's because I have a bug here. Nope. So that's pretty strange. I think we do it the dirty way. I'll just copy this class and go up here and say this one and say post set session page and uh, that's what we're going to do and I'll just do this one and say uh, self crest and then we're good to go and let's see what happens if we do it this way. It doesn't make any kind of sense for me, but if this works, it will work. And I can't remember the other way, so hope that's okay. And now we get an error, of course, because we don't have. We need to go inside the URL and say. Post session page. As view. And then we got to go. And we still don't have any kind of uh, customer stored, so I really don't know what's happening right now. And I'll try to research that and explain you what I've done wrong because it's pretty weird. Now I figure out what's happening. It's because I'm sending the object inside, and what I need to do is just to setting the customer inside here, and then I can go back and reload it up and say session ID. It's uh, has no attribute session ID. And uh, I think it's because my cookie here is the same issue as the other one. So I'll just go up here and load it. So you can see they have customer, customer name, and then we have the session ID, and then we have this one. So let's go back for the session here. And I'm pretty sure what I've done before it sh should working. So I think the only thing I have making wrong it's this part. But you will probably always working this way. It will be much easier for you, so it's nothing wrong to, to do this. I'll just uh, try to name two, and then I will go back for the 
uh, browse and reload and going back and you can see uh, set session it will not change because we already have it uh, inside here is checking we uh, can just do this and remove it if it's set we can just do uh, else and this one and delete um, number two um, replace the customer name and what we're gonna do down here it's replace name and we can go down here and say if it's equal to replace name then we remove the session again and then we, we basically take the, the session out and return the customer and after that we're gonna remove it again so that's what we're gonna do now set it inside going back replace name reload and get an error and why we get the error is because the session doesn't um, fit in so that's why we get the error and we can prevent this and the way we prevent this is just to say if customer in else no session set that's what we're going to do now and it's not working okay something is wrong here. so that's pretty strange I love when I have a really really good documentation and I want to test it out and show it out and then it's get broken so that's pretty interesting and it's probably because we have this one try if this one expect and uh, key or no uh, no customer key found to check and then we're going back and reload and then we go so if we go into set session going back this one it will not remove the customer name if we're going back for set one and going back then we have replace name and if i'm reload it's no session set so now it's well working as we want to do and uh, you have learned now to set the session how to remove it how you can uh, uh, replace it if you want uh, i think that the last thing we want to to speak about it's the a way to store the session inside the database and um, that's what you want to do if you're working on multi-server like if you use the the docker container setup then you have the application is running on multi-server and if you use the old way to working with the session uh, in, in Django then you will only store the, the session codes on the local uh, container environment on your, your VM so you need to store this in a central place and I will prefer to do this in the database and I can show uh, a pretty easy way to do this so let's go back for the, for the editor and, and create this you need to go in for the settings for the for application here settings and uh, then we need to 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 tell the cache cache here and inside the cache we can define something and then we need the session engine the session engine should be Django uh, contrib sessions backends cache and down below here we want to say default the default cache engine should be backend and then we need to say the uh, Django core cache backends mem cache and then mem cache 
and we need to say the server should be location and it should be 127 0 0 and 1 dot 8008 if reload it's probably giving an error because I'm I'm not really sure I have a memcache uh, starting up on my uh, computer here but let's try it out yeah you can see the session ID it's the key error because it's coming from uh, the memcache so I think we can just go in back and I will just go inside here in my views and coming the session ID out and then we are good to go set session going back customer name set again replace the name and no session set and if we open up here uh, I can just see the application session ID here it's it's working so you can see you don't have any session ID anymore so because we are working with the session inside the memcast remember to install the memcast to do this working then we uh, we will place all the session inside the memcast and that's uh, how we're working with it's a uh, pretty easy the the hardest way is to understand how the session is working in the Django after that you're pretty easy to go thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoy this I really enjoy to to teach you so I hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner below on pressing the thing if you have any questions please make a comment below in the comments field and I'll try to answer you as fast as I can I really hope you want to like and share this video and uh, hope to see you next time bye bye